Hi guys, I'm Waldemar, one of the co-founders, and this is our first product. No guys, it's not the frame. Piot, you tell them. This little product started our Expondo story. It's this little small scale that helped us to build up the company, but also helped so many dealers in Neukölln, our old neighborhood. But of course, we stayed at the bright side. So we are something like a little anti-startup. I will explain why. Here you see how we started, like a usual startup. It's already our second warehouse, and it was already great to have this, because the first one was in a flat. Because we always wanted to save as good as we could money to improve, to build up the company. And that's why we have 56% of gross margin, 300 employees all over the world, six offices in Europe and Asia, almost 4,000 SKUs. And the best thing is that the company is still in our hands. There are no investors so far. Yeah, we built it up because we did it with our own brands. Everything is like 99% by our own brands and 50% that we sell. Our turnover is made by Royal Catering. Royal Catering is our brand for catering products. And this is one of our best sellers, the professional popcorn machine. Yeah, we, since 10 years, we are growing with a 56% margin. And why? Because we are in very strong industries. Here you see the four main industries in which we are. And it's being said that until 2020, we will grow by 43%. This is the e-commerce turnover, approximately set until 2020. And we are also selling to 28 countries. And half of our turnover we generate in Germany and Poland. Third comes France, and the rest is the rest of the EU. And last year we had 40 million turnover. This year it will be like 60 million. And in four years we estimate that it will be almost 300 million. And you know that size matters. And for us it was also very important to be better than the others. And we decided we have to implement as many products as we can. And currently we are implementing 1,000 products each year. And here you see where we position ourselves. So we implement four times more product than other companies. But Piotr, you remember the investors we talked to actually seven years ago? Even though we didn't want to get an investor, we talked to them. We told about our business model, what we are doing. And they just asked us, guys, but what are you really? You're doing everything. You're doing so many things. So for us, the answer was clear. We are an exclusive retailer. We are a producer. And we are online only. So this is a hybrid concept that probably most of you already know. But what does make us unique? What makes us unique is our Expondo formula. So we create an algorithm where we are looking for niche, complex products that not many people have so far. And we can say 3% product withdrawal is a pretty good result. So many of our products are sourced so good through the algorithm that they stay in our portfolio. The second thing is, how many companies do you guys know in e-commerce? that test every product by themselves in their own laboratories, that service each of their products themselves, I think, frankly speaking, there's not so many. 22% of our projects drop due to quality issues. So we put a lot of attention on quality. The next one is, Piotr already mentioned, the product shooting machine. We are introducing 1,000 SKUs per year of own brand designed products. So this is already a big achievement, but we also do it with a stable quality. And 3% return rate, 4% failure rate are pretty good numbers for that. The most important is actually our culture. We're like doers. We see ourselves the get it done culture. 80% usually is good enough. If you want to achieve your goal, you don't have to go all the way. Focus on what's important and get it done. So those are the things that makes us unique, but it's much more the way we live and the way we work. I think as we all know, we have 40 to 50% growth, resemble those numbers, and 60% is sold through our own brand shops. As we all know, pressure makes diamonds. So what does it mean for us? We did put a lot of pressure on ourselves and on certain things. Focus, pressure, focus, pressure. So basically, bootstrapping is a pretty new word. For us, it was at the beginning cost efficiency, very cost effective. We saved everywhere. Our first chairs that we sat on, 
five, e five euro from eBay, used chairs. So that's the way we went. And this is one of the success, success factors. The next one, we do own the value chain. So we didn't do as every e-commerce company, build up a shop, do UX, do all those standards, no. We focused on the product, on production, on getting the product and having the quality. So this makes us a little bit different. You could say it's an anti-startup, not just spending money, but be profitable from day one. Very important for us, if we do something, we always want to become number one. So we didn't become the next media market, the next electronic seller, no. We focused on niche products. One of these, it's a, it's a crane scale. Most of you will not know it. It comes on a big crane. You can weigh 10 tons on it. We have this small scale Piot showed you. We have even platform scales for horses, maybe one day also for unicorns. Who knows? Next one is a chocolate dispenser. We have 81% of the e-commerce market currently for this product. Very specialized, but that's what we focus on. And here comes a very special product. Yeah, that's a really special one. Anyone knows what it is? I will give you a hint. It's connected to the first product I showed you, the weighing scale. And still not, so maybe now. It's a leaf bud trimmer for marijuana. And you can uh, cut off the leaves of marijuana, but of course everything else that has leaves. And also here we have a big market share, and you can see that we are going on trends. We see what will be the big trend, and we are taking it on. And we are ready to get this trend done. And you can ignore many e-commerce standards, like we did. At the beginning, we had 3,000 unanswered emails in our mailbox, and we just didn't answer them because it just didn't matter to us. But some things you can't really ignore so long. For example, you know how, it, how important it is to get a product in your hands, to touch it, to talk with an expert, you have questions, he is explaining to you, you can see how it functions. And this we want to achieve, and we set up a program that you deserve experts. And how we want to achieve it? With three ingredients. This is e-commerce, the expert worlds, and the social media. And with this, we want to achieve that real-life experts are selling to experts. So. Let's take a dive into a new shop. This is all about being introduced. This is a live showroom, a live testing center, where you can see where each product is being tested. We have many nice functions, like drop the product on our expert, where you can compare interactively the product. So I don't want to talk too much. Let's make the video talk, because it says more than 1,000 words. I have for Brian. So thank you guys very much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Michal Rwowski and I am a chef. Currently I'm testing one of the many devices from Royal Catering. So if you're running your own business, you're a professional just like I am. And if you're looking for support and promotion and development of your business and you're not camera shy, then I have an offer for you. Expondo, yes. the biggest this is Michal, one of our experts. And he's selling through online to clients, showing them the products. And with this program, we want to gain even more experts because we see that it's working, the interaction with the client. So this is a really new thing that we are trying off. And but guys, let's be honest. How are you going to make it happen to get for 3,000 niche products, experts for every country, every language? We were thinking about it. How are you going to make it? How do you make it profitable? It seemed impossible. And we did came, come up with an idea. Every one of us deserves experts. You go to the local shop, a specialized shop, you don't have that online. If you can bring that online, this would be a key. So we thought about there's a lot of retired welders, a lot of retired craftsmen. There's a lot of people that are out of the job. They have a lot of time on their hand. Why not use them for product resentions, for giving advice, for writing for us? This is one. The second option is this. We sold to every city in Europe currently our products. So let's imagine we have Pierre. Pierre has five of our products. He's a long-time customer. He has a restaurant, and then there's Jacques from Paris. He wants the product too. We connect Pierre and Jacques. Jacques can write with Pierre, he can talk to Pierre, and then you ask yourself, okay, but why would Pierre do it? And let's imagine he sells a product that is worth 500 euro, it's 10 minutes of his work, he gets 50 euros. So that's one thing. He gets longer warranty, he gets a network, they can combine. So if you multiply this and get experts for all those products, they don't cost us nothing, 
just the commission and other things. So we are working on this. I mean, it's not live yet, but it's one way we want to approach it, and so far nobody is doing this. So this is a very big chance. And we are very modest guys, but we still want to share like, our key findings from the past decade with you guys. So maybe you can take something home. Yeah. Meanwhile, during the 10 years, we have redefined our business already three times. First, we were just an eBay seller. Later on, we concentrated on our shop, now selling 60% of our turnover through it. And today, we are concentrating on the expert worlds. And it's important to start just something. Even when you don't good at it, after 10,000 of hours, you become an expert. Ignore the bias, focus on customers, ignore all useless talks, and just concentrate on the most important things and stay hungry. The most important is to have the right attitude and to know where your aim is. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Thanks.